Recently, I made a video where I analyzed the link between childhood and personal style and how many aspects of our childhood affect our personal style. And to further strengthen my theory, today I am recreating my childhood outfits and analyzing whether or not they still resonate with my personal style. For this video, I'm specifically focusing on my early childhood outfits because frankly, teenage me didn't really dress the way I want to because of societal, religious, and bullying factors. So many of my outfits from back then do not really reflect how I wanted to dress. Little kid me though, she knew what was up. And if you don't know who this little kid or this random person talking to the camera is, I'm Yemi, nice to meet you if I haven't already, and I make fashion content of all kinds, so stick around. And if you're curious about my theory on childhood and personal style having a strong connection, make sure to check out that video first and then come back to this one and let's compare notes. Now we can't just recreate these outfits exactly as they are because one, I don't have the same clothes I used to have, and two, my style has evolved alongside me throughout the years. And of course to not cheat the system, you guys need to understand what my style actually is. So let me give you a quick breakdown. Here are some things I've recognized about my personal style thus far. Take notes. 1. How conservatively I've dressed has fluctuated throughout the years. Here's a quick timeline of how conservatively I've dressed throughout the years. My most prominent changes started in my early years when I was very covered up due to unwanted attention from adult men. You know the story, creepy men trying to follow me trying to cat call me when I'm literally 12. I'm trying to avoid them like the plague. In my late teens, I had a phase of dressing less conservatively to fit in with the rest of the crowd. I was wearing slightly more revealing tops and I was pretty shapely for like a 15 year old. In high school, it fluctuated depending on who I was with. So in the first high school I was at, I did wear more revealing tops, but then I transferred to an art high school. All of my outfits became all about layering, all about styling, funky fits. So I kind of left my more revealing tops at home. In university, I was kind of conservative for the most part. It kind of depended on the occasion. Like if I went on a night out, of course I was gonna wear a little cute top. But if I went to school, I wasn't gonna show up in a crop top. So it really just depended on the occasion. In New York City, I wore a lot more revealing clothes, I was less conservative, and I experimented a lot outside of my comfort zone. Now I am back to more conservative alongside with professional and layering focused outfits, as you can tell. Two, the biggest factors that impact my style are my environment and what stage of life I'm in. I haven't really cared that much about religious or societal standards for dress code, but rather where I'm situated both climate and environment wise has been the biggest factor in how I style myself. So for example, New York City is very much an each to their own kind of space, but it also has a lot more hedonistic elements compared to anywhere else I've lived. So I definitely dipped my toes in more experimental styles when I was there. Where I live right now has more gothic vibes and because I'm in a professional setting all the time these days, I like to wear work and school appropriate but funky outfits. Three, here are some things I've always gravitated towards. For colors, I have always loved pink, blue, purple, and green. And for patterns, I'm very fussy about my patterns, but I do like some floral, funky patterns, and just not too much pattern, but a little bit of something. Lots of airy, comfortable, and light fabrics, such as chiffon or cotton. Shimmer and sparkle in some format, usually makeup, accessories, or the actual outfit. I gravitate towards cute or cool styles that are always comfortable. I like my little dainty details and a little something special added to the mix of an otherwise maybe basic outfit. Decade-wise, I love late 90s clothing. And tied to the 90s, but also my own personal preferences, I do have a minimalist approach, but sometimes I can steer away from it. Just kind of depends on the outfit. And those are the basics of my personal style, so now you can judge me knowing exactly what my personal style is. Or more or less know what it is. I'm going to be recreating my childhood outfits according to categories because I have a lot of sub-styles within my style. Now I'm going to briefly walk you through each category and then try to dress according to them. Wish me luck! Category 1 the fairy princess. This is all about the pink, frilly, fairy, and princess themed dresses. As a kid, in my creative playtime, I was often portraying a beautiful maiden, a fairy, a princess, or anything of the sort. You'd think that these princess-esque fairy dresses stayed on only for playtime and special occasions, but I actually wore them out all the time, so they were essentially a big part of my closet. I can't believe I'm actually saying this on camera right now because I'm so happy, but let's put on some princess and fairy dresses. <laughs> Now, as you can immediately tell, this is not an exact recreation of the outfit. However, dare I say it's better? We all know it. 
Kid Me would have absolutely adored this outfit. Now I did originally try another dress underneath this dress because it had the proper sleeves, but it actually didn't end up looking very good. So I think this is great just as it is. What do we think? It's very chic. It's very cool, right? Like it's very much giving princess, fairy princess, whatever you want to call it. Depending on how I accessorize it, I think I could actually be both a normal princess or a fairy princess. I've actually worn this dress to several events and I have always felt like a dreamy little fairy princess. I think this is very up my alley. I think even though, again, not exact recreation, it works. So let's review. How accurate was this recreation? Not the most accurate in the same color palette and the same theme, but just not the same exact dress, which I think is fine because I didn't expect to ever have anything like that. Does this resonate with my current personal style? 100%. I love and adore this dress. I have loved this dress since the day I got it and I'm not getting rid of it. As for how do I feel about it on me, I feel so pretty right now. I was kind of feeling ugly and nasty earlier because I got a terrible acne breakout from over exfoliating, but I feel so much nicer today. Like I just feel pretty like a gentle little fairy princess. I feel like if a little kid saw me in this, they would smile and say, I want to wear that dress. Would I wear this out? And are there any changes I would make? I would wear this out 100%. Obviously not for everyday wear. I would wear this for my special occasions, maybe for a night out, maybe for a museum. As for changes, I don't really have any changes I want to make to this outfit. I feel like it's perfect as it is. Very happy with the first outfit. I feel like we are starting off really strong. Now this will either cost me your subscription or not, but yes, I put a dress on top of a dress and this dress, I bought it recently and I have not fixed it because the straps are too long. Like somebody just straight out stretched these straps to an ungodly degree and huh, I basically just have a lot of DIY work to do. I did get it for five bucks though, so that's my defense. I just keep getting these items for five bucks or less and I'm like, I can DIY that. Should I make a video on my DIY projects? Let me know. I have a big pile of them right now. Anyways, I don't really have a set like in the inspiration picture. I don't really do a lot of sets. I'm also not comfortable showcasing my belly like I did in that picture. Like obviously I was a kid, I'm gonna do whatever the <laughs> f I want. But now I'm just like, if I do that, y'all are gonna think I'm six months pregnant the moment I eat a slice of bread. I like my dresses. So that is why I went with the dress and the dress on top of the dress. This is to kind of mimic the attitude of something sheer on top of something else, which is a big theme in that outfit. I also feel like the sheer on top of another item thing really goes along well with fairy themes. Like I am 80% sure that I was a fairy when I was playing in that outfit. It would check out that I look like a fairy right now too. I was also considering pinning it up here to give it like a more of a mermaid-esque feel. While this is absolutely astonishing and it would look absolutely fantastic, it doesn't quite fit the theme. So this time we're just gonna keep it as is. Now let's judge the outfit. How accurate of a recreation is this? Not super accurate, but I would say it goes well with the theme. Does this recreation resonate with my personal style? Absolutely. But I think I like the combination a lot more than I expected. I was very ready to toss away this top dress because I was like, there's like a 90% chance it's not gonna work out. For once, thinking the vision in my head turned out right in post-production of life, which is putting the outfit on. Would I wear this outfit out? Yes, I think I would after I fix the straps though, because if I go out like this, I have a feeling this dress is just gonna fall off. It's in my color palette, it's in my style, it's in my fabric choices. And again, if I had any changes to make, well, that's about it. This thing right here. On to the next category. Category two, the tutu skirts. As much as she tried, my mother could not stop me from wearing my tutu skirts absolutely everywhere. Apparently she even often tried to hide them from me, but I would always find them and put them on before leaving the house. So all of my mom's efforts to control my style were futile. I was a ballerina from age three to 13. So I think that partly affected this part of my style as a kid. But also honestly, I think I just loved the way I felt and looked in them. Now, unfortunately I do not own a single tutu skirt in my closet, so I cannot recreate these outfits the way I would want to but I am so specific and fussy about my skirts so I would have to see if I can find one anytime soon that I would actually love and keep. However this was a huge part of my style as a child and I cannot ignore it so that is why I wanted to include it so I do have an alternative. 
I'm going to recreate the format of this outfit with frilly tops and skirts instead. Now they aren't tutu skirts, but the format is similar enough. Please forgive me for my errors. I am not going to go shopping for a singular video. Sorry, I'm not consumeristic that way. Okay, y'all, I feel like I don't even need to prove my theory to you. Like, look at this. Is this not perfection? Is this not kid yummy? Is this not... I don't even have the words for it. I love this. So I do not have the shirt that I had in the original picture or anything like it. I did have this fruit shirt that I almost wore, but then I decided against it because it's very patterned, whereas the shirt in the picture is very simple with a little bit of something. So that little bit of something in this outfit are these brooches, brooches, pins. I am not a native speaker, so you tell me what these are called. A, brooch, B, brooch, C, pin, D, something I didn't think of and can't say properly. And also, fun fact, in that picture I'm wearing a cast, I think it's because it was the one time I fell off of a slide. You know those like basic playground circle slides? So I slid one down, but like instead of sliding it like a normal regular person, I slid on the edge and I was holding onto the edge, sliding down, and I tipped over. And that is how I got a hair fracture on my arm at like Three. My mom had a lot on her plate, poor woman. So how accurate was this recreation? I'd say that apart from the fact that the skirt is not the same, I think it's gorgeous. And again, the whole point is kind of like very feminine flair, and I feel like this definitely has the feminine flair. Does this recreation resonate with my personal style? Absolutely. Would I wear this outside, and are there any changes I would make? Yes, I would absolutely wear this outside. For the changes though, if I could have the shirt that Kidney had, I would get that shirt. I thought that shirt is adorable. I love a little bit of something small embroidered in shirts and tops and everything, so I feel like that would be a very adorable outfit for me to still have, in fact. Give me the skirt as well. Why can't I find this stuff as an adult? I feel like I've really struggled, especially because I do prefer to thrift over finding something online and buying online, but like I am just not finding it. If anybody knows of cute tutu, tool skirts, etc., tell me. Kid Me had just the most awesome style and I really wish I could just use my parents' budget again to shop for all of those cute little clothes like in an adult format so that I could just always wear cute clothes. I am very blessed to have had a mother who dressed me cute or rather even let me dress cute and let me look cute every single day because oh my goodness was I so cute. I don't really have any other notes on this one. I feel like it's a very basic outfit. I don't know how I feel about my shirt choice. I don't really feel like I have a better shirt to represent the shirt in the picture. I really wish I had that shirt instead of this one. I know, cool, me too, honey. We all wanna dress cute. So would I call this an accurate recreation? I would say it's close enough. None of the pieces are quite the right thing. So I am a little bit disappointed that I don't have the same kinds of pieces or like the exact same format. And I wish I did. But again, I am not shopping for a singular video. Now would I wear this outside? That's the part I'm a little bit iffy about because it- Yes, honey, I love you too. Yes, I love you too. He won't stop meowing, so he's kitty quarantined for like 10 seconds while I can hold him. Anyways, I would say that this outfit is not the most perfect thing. I wouldn't necessarily wear it outside as it is. I do think I would want to add a corset top or something else to this. I am a minimalist, but this is a tiny bit too plain for me. It's way cool. You already have all of your layers on you. And I feel like that would be all the changes that I need to actually wear this outside. Okay, on to the next category. Category 3. Shimmer and sparkle. Whether it's only a small amount or an entire outfit, I love my sparkly and shimmery looks. Now technically, this could be a part of the fairy theme, but the sparkle and shimmer can extend far beyond exclusively feminine outfits, which is why I wanted to make it its own category. Now I only have one example picture of this because honestly I didn't really have access to sparkles and shimmery things until later in adult life when I actually had money, but I do know it's always been something that I love. I am like a crow that is attracted to shiny things. Ooh, shiny. Like literally my partner will not stop calling me a crow whenever I pull out a sequin sweater or something. I'm sorry, I just love my sparkle and shine, okay? I love being the little star of the show. Sta, 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 kira, kira, watashi wa sta. 
Kiriemi knew that she is the star. She is the shimmer. She's the sparkle. She is the moment. How much more can I compliment my kid self and how can I <laughs> repair all the damage that was done to her when she entered her teens? I was actually gonna sell this dress to make some money, but now I don't think I want to sell it. Now, obviously this is not a sleeveless dress with a tulle skirt, so like he said, but it is cute and I do think it has similar vibes. So even though it's not an exact recreation, once again, forever and always so, I would say it's a good recreation and it does make me feel cute and it does make me feel comfortable and it does make me feel like I am a star. Would I wear this outdoors? Yes, I think so. I have worn something like this. I do think it works well with the boots and if I accessorized with other black items, I think this would be a complete outfit. Other than that, no real changes to make. Again, I wish I had the actual item or something a little bit closer, but I like this. What do you think? Do you like this? I have accumulated a huge collection of shimmery, sequiny, glittery clothes, so I have a lot. Like I said, not all of it is feminine. Like, some of it can be styled with very masculine pieces, which I really enjoy because it kind of adds this like interesting contrast because I feel like sparkles, etc., are usually assumed to be part of feminine attire. But if you flip the switch a little bit and just like play around with masculine pieces with sequins or glitter, etc., I feel like it adds this interesting mishmash of expectations versus reality and what exactly it is that you can do with fashion, which is a lot, by the way. So whenever I see people rocking these more androgynous looks with like sparkle and shimmer, I get so happy because I think they look so freaking cool. Okay, so I'm a real dumbass and I forgot that it's actually this dress that is sparkly and not this one and I didn't even think twice about it. But let's pretend that the white dress is sparkly because the concept is there. I just forgot the sparkle. Technically, I could have worn the blue one and it would just be a different color palette. You get the point. I love my sparkly clothes, okay? Like I have proved the point, kind of. Okay, maybe I didn't recreate the outfit perfectly but I have the clothes, we're working with it. Was this my fashion mistake? Maybe, because I'm a dumbass and I didn't actually look at the dress and I was like, oh yeah, it sparkles. No, it doesn't, it doesn't sparkle. Yeah, I think I messed up, cool. Category four, funky street style. I have always loved my pops of color and monochrome. And most importantly, I love comfort. I've pretty much never had a flat tummy, not even as a child or a teen. So to me, a comfortable outfit usually means stretchy pants, loose shirts, and when I can, a monochromatic outfit. My street style is colorful, but color coordinated. Just like as a child, I don't like to venture outside of certain color harmonies and combinations. By the way, if you want to know how to style color in your outfits, you can watch my color theory and fashion video to learn more. Same outfit, different color palette. As I said, my favorite colors are, what is it audience? That's right, pink, blue, green, and purple. Red is not amongst my favorite colors, so the outfit is elite. The color palette, not so much. I've never quite gravitated towards red the way I do towards blue or pink, etc. Apart from that, I would say this outfit is elite. I would say this outfit is very much me still to this day. What can I say? Kid me knew exactly what was up. I don't really have any other notes on this. I feel like apart from it being a different color and obviously a different top, it's an exact recreation. Would I wear this out? Yes, I already have before. I will again. This is exactly how I've kind of always dressed a little bit. Like I've had phases of in and out with this, but this this is more or less how I like to dress. I'm actually so specific that it's kind of funny, but also it's really good for my personal style because it means that I'm not shopping for stuff that I don't ultimately wear. Now, obviously I do make my shopping mistakes and buy stuff that I think will look cute on me and then it definitely doesn't, or I'm getting trend influenced, which is why I try not to look at trends these days. Apart from those mistakes we all make, I feel like I'm on a really good track with my personal style. And I feel like, again, lack of social media in my life for several months, new environment where I feel more comfortable dressing the way I actually want to dress, etc. All of that has made my personal style more clear to me. And honestly, I think that is something that you can't really replace. Like, I don't think any trend would ever make me feel better about myself than my personal style. So yeah, I have nothing more to say, no changes to make. This is a great outfit. Okay, so I am not a yellow gal, but I wore my only yellow shirt for this video, so... 
What can I say? I love you guys enough to wear a yellow shirt for this video. I think I can actually pinpoint the exact summer when I stopped having interest in yellow because I did actually kind of like yellow up until I was 14. In a youthful time, on the 14th year of my summer, I remember a ladybug got obsessed with my yellow t-shirt and it stuck itself onto me and then proceeded to pee onto me. And that same summer, I wore a lot of yellow and I had bumblebees, wasps, all kinds of bugs being attracted to me because I was wearing yellow in the summer. I don't think I've ever recovered since. I'm not really anti-bug, but I'm not really bug friendly either, like I wouldn't go and pick up a bug. So I think that may have been the defining moment when I said, I'm not wearing yellow. I am not a bug attractant. No sir, not today. On a whole, apart from the finer details, I feel like this actually looks exactly like the inspiration photo. Now, would I wear this outside? That is the tricky question. And does it feel like my personal style? I don't think I would wear this shirt. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, I wouldn't not wear it. Like, if my partner was like, I want you to wear the Lord Bentner t-shirt, go listen to that band, then yeah, I would wear it. But like I said, I'm not much of a yellow gal. But if we ignore the color and just look at the outfit in general, then yes, I would wear this. I wear this a lot when I'm running errands, when I'm getting groceries, etc, etc. Nothing wrong with it though. I guess the ladybug won by getting to piss on me. Why a ladybug? Why? Category 5. Outfits with a little something special. I wore a lot of patterned dresses, onesies, and matching sets as a kid. Whether it was just a basic dress with accessories or an elaborate color-coordinated outfit, I somehow managed to make them all look cohesive and cute or cool. It's really weird actually because I almost had an exact replica of this outfit a couple years ago, but unfortunately I sold my overall dress because it didn't quite fit my body type. But clearly, I love my overall dress, I love my overalls. If I could find these overalls again in adult life, I would buy them instantly. I just think they're that cute. Like pink, frilly overalls, so much love. Now I'm kind of sad I don't have them. Let's get on to the outfit though. Once again, different color, similar concept. Weird thing, but I actually remember wearing that pink dress because we wore it to take family photos. And then my parents also took these cute little photos of me. So the dress I'm wearing right now is actually my mom's old dress that she wore around that exact time. So while I am not wearing a dress of the same color palette or of the same pattern, this is my mom's dress from that literal time. I got this dress from my mom when I was 18 and I have treasured it ever since. Because look at this, it has drawstrings in the back. It flares out from the waistline and it's made of very light material. Do I feel like this is part of my personal style? Absolutely. I have worn this dress to death and it is still holding up fabulously. I love this outfit combination. I think it's adorable even though we are leaving summer. So I will be styling it differently for fall and winter, but I do think it is adorable and cute. Hi, cool. You know, we want so much love to do. Overall feelings, I would like to have the dress from my childhood pick, but not in that color. Hi, cool. Are we just, do we just love attention? This cat wants your love and attention just like he wants my love and attention. My love and attention is not enough for this cat. He has to have everybody's attention. Give me a fear pits. Sucker. And yeah, that's my two cents. Nothing else to say about this. Let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, so technically, this is a pretty accurate recreation. However, like I have reiterated several times in this video, I am not a huge fan of red. Because of that, I wanted to show you guys how it looks like as a more accurate recreation. I'm gonna try this jacket next and see if that feels more like me because I love this jacket, not this one. So here is my preferred look and I am already so much more comfortable in it. It's so weird how a single color can really change how we feel about an outfit. This just is more along the lines of what I would wear, the patterns, the color combinations, and even though it's not similar in color, I would argue that it is similar in pattern because of this 80s retro pattern. So overall, the original outfit, I would say, is an accurate recreation. This one, not as much, but I prefer this one. As for whether or not this fits my personal style, so technically, if you asked me this a year ago, I would say yes. However, I am not the biggest fan of jeans that have absolutely zero flexibility or stretch, and these jeans are exactly that. I've owned these since 2015, and I've liked them. They're great for what they are. But if I wear these jeans for more than three hours, my stomach actually starts to cry 
ramp incredibly bad because they are a tiny bit tight on me. So if I could wear this more accurately to my current personal style, I would probably change out the pants. Like I would probably go for my Uniqlo pants. Any of my Uniqlo pants are way more comfortable than these. Like I had my jeans phase when I was a teenager because everybody else wore jeans. Then I wore my jeans because everybody else in college wore their jeans. And then I just got sick of them the moment I discovered Uniqlo. So thank you, Uniqlo. If Uniqlo ever wants to do a partnership with me, please do so. I love Uniqlo so much. I literally mention their products in every single video. Anyways, there you have it. Category six, minimalist me. This is our final category. And like I've said before, I've always been closer to a minimalist than a maximalist. I've always liked to be a bit simpler, but always put together. And that has always stayed with me. It's as simple as that. <laughs> So as I mentioned before, this outfit would be the perfect recreation if I had my overalls dress from years ago. I think I can still recreate the look with this dress though, and this dress fits my body type a little bit better. It's a little bit more on the dainty rather than the playful kitty side, but I think it's still adorable and I think it still holds the same elements and the same vibes. So overall, I would say this is actually a pretty good recreation because it is very similar, but I have my own mature elements. I have the parts of my style that developed with me throughout the years here. So do I feel like this fits my personal style? Absolutely. I have worn almost this exact outfit before and I absolutely adored and loved it. Would I wear this out? Yes, I think so. Maybe I would change the shoes. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about just the black in the docks again. I love my color harmonies and I love making sure that I have more than one item of any color. Other than that, I feel like this is good to go. And that's it for all the outfits today. My conclusion is that I think apart from some pieces not quite working in terms of color palette, style, or pattern, these outfits were accurate and cute. I feel like my childhood self knew exactly what she was doing because so many of these outfits still feel like me. It has been so fun to compare my past and current style and seeing how much of that style I have carried with me throughout the years. Bringing all of these elements from my childhood to my present self is so interesting because I have gone through so many different life stages and yet somehow I still love my sparkly. I still love my cute little color palettes and my dainty florals. All of that really has carried itself to the present day. So I would say yes, my theory was correct. Childhood definitely affects our personal style and it affects it pretty heavily too. Now there is an exception though. The exception is people who grew up with parents or other adults controlling their style up until adulthood. This could be due to religious reasons, societal reasons, or other environmental factors. What this control over a child's style ultimately does though is it prevents them from finding their own personal style. So by the time they grow up, there's a pretty strong chance that they do not know what their personal style is or how to style themselves. Think of it like a race. If we start right here, the starting line for those kids is way back because they have to figure this all out after they become adults or after they become teenagers. And that is not easy, especially if you have been limited and you've been told this is how you have to dress, this is how you have to style. What are you supposed to do when you suddenly have the freedom to choose? I think a lot of these people end up turning to rebellious styles eventually when they get out of the house and out of their parents' control, or then they go for more experimental styles that they wouldn't have had access to when they were younger, or in some cases, they keep the style that they had originally that their parents formed for them because they feel comfortable in that. It really is a journey and it looks so different for everyone, but that's just my two cents. I feel like I could make an entire video on this separate topic. Anyways, this was a very fun video to make. I really enjoyed seeing that my personal style is very much still the same. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and maybe watch another video, and I'll see you next time.